Friday night football. Hey! It's been heaven. But we're already on to week seven. Let's go! Cooler weather is bearing down, and so is that countdown. There's three weeks left in the regular season. So it's time to kick on the afterburners and barrel into playoff action. Grab a water break, because the stakes are getting that much higher. We're a Hawaii's fan team, and you're watching ABC 17 Sports Zone Football Friday. This is ABC 17 Sports Zone Football Friday, sponsored by Harper, Evans, Wade, and Nettemeyer, when you have one shot to win it all. What is up, everyone? Welcome into week seven, if you can believe it, of Sports Zone Football Friday. I'm ABC 17 Sports Director Natalie Jones. Just two weeks left until the district playoffs begin. That flew by. Let's kick off week seven, shall we? Our game of the week featured a battle between Columbia's North Side and the South Side. Both Rockbridge and Battle coming off of week six wins. Both teams looking to ride that momentum through the home stretch of this regular season and maybe even get some Como bragging rights. Extra motivation for the Bruins tonight as it's senior night. RB honoring a standout group this season. But the Spartans trying to play spoiler here. Also of note, it's the Matt Bowl. Perkins versus Herman. Who's top Matt? We will see first quarter Rockbridge up 3-0. Snap goes sailing though for battle and look at Ross Taylor jumping on top of it in the end zone. Defense really hung tough for Rockbridge and stepped up in this game. 10-0 start for the home team. Second quarter, Spartans back with the ball. Alex Fernandez goes to pass, but Gracing Cutchlow is there mowing a guy down on his way into the barn. Pick six on senior night for the senior. 17-0 now in favor of Rockbridge. That's one happy guy. Big smiles all around. How about some offense now? Brady Davidson hits who else but Devin Holt. We've been hearing his name a lot over the middle. He's got a lane going all the way outside the numbers. Tiptoeing down the sideline. Can't quite make it in for six, though. They're going to say it was just short of the zone. So a red zone possession now for the Bruins. Got a target. Holt again. Quarter of the end zone. My goodness. What a catch. But not rule the touchdown. Look close. It looks like his foot got down there, you tell me. Big props to Holt for hanging on to that one. Not a touchdown, though. It's all good. Shake it off here. Hand off. Cooper Myers in for the tutty. Bruins are lighting up the scoreboard up 24-0. Battles defense looking to put a stop to it before halftime. Davidson goes to pass, but into double coverage, and there's the man to call right. Interception, and also a pretty big return there. Puts the Spartans in good range. Opportunity time, but Elijah Morton coming in like a freight train, <laughs> dragging him down. Big sack there. Bruins take that lead and run with it. 38 nothing was the final tonight. Heading down Providence to Hickman. They're hosting Rain Valley tonight. Cubes looking for their first win this season. Eagles strike first, though. Sal Calderella keeps the ball on a read option, takes it to the end zone to get the ball rolling in favor of Rain Valley. Hickman time now, though, looking to put the pressure here on the Eagles. Redoon Bursey finds Brock Camp downfield here. Nice catch. Massive gain there and a first down. Moving the sticks. If it works the first time, you got to try it again. Bursey finds Camp this time in the end zone. But the QP is on the board in this one. Calderella, though, had other plans. Lifts up an absolute bomb to Peyton Woodrum. Grain Valley is not slowing down. Ladies and gents, he's rumbling in there for a touchdown. And now the defense starting to feel that energy here because Britt Boyle coming in like a heat-seeking missile, making Bercy fumble. And Grain Valley going to roll to a big 41-18 win over Hickman tonight. The Mayor's Cup on the line in Jefferson City. Helias looking to claim the trophy. That's a beautiful shot. We love it. Keep an undefeated CMAC record alive. That's the goal against the Jays tonight. Jeff City defense had other plans early on. Austin Weaver's pass intercepted. Ryan Tadson jumps the route, giving the game Jays good field position. The offense looking to capitalize on their turnover. Contrell Jordan with a nice gain on an end around, but this drive ended with a Halias interception. Crusaders took advantage. Weaver rolls out, finds Sam Lopez. That is a 41-yard connection. We got Helias now near the red zone. 
Niall, it is time to ground and pound. Mason French with room to run. He's going to get all the way in there, down on the one-yard line. But don't worry, French cashed it in for six. He dives over the goal line for the score. Elias on the board for 7 nothing in the second quarter. Jeff City looking to respond on their next drive, but uh-oh. A bad exchange on the snap leads to a fumble. Elias jumps on it. Chase Weiscarver with the recovery. Elias back in business now. And guess what? They're going to capitalize again. Weaver to Alex Marbury. Great job keeping his feet in bounds there. Picks up a first down. That connection was cooking on this drive. Weaver finds Marbury again. What an effort to reach across the goal line. 14 nothing. Elias now after the seven yard score. The Crusaders went on to win their fourth straight Mayor's Cup 24 to six the final tonight. Scoreboard now, Capital City goes big over Smith Cotton, 48-21. Camdenton gets the win against Hillcrest, 35-14. Centralia blanks Highland at their place, 42-0. Mexico loses to Kirksville, 24-13. Osage takes down Boonville, 31-16. Marshall shuts out Fulton, 20-0. And Moberly falls to Hannibal tonight, 28-8. That's it for the first half of Sports Home Football Friday. Stick around. We've got more highlights, including two teams that are no stranger to finding the end zone. I'll explain on that next. Feels good to be home. For a limited time, Ashley is offering 0% interest for 60 months. Plus, your first three payments are on us. Get this dining set in time for the holidays for just $41 a month. Shop today and pay nothing till 2024. Only at Ashley. When it comes to insurance, it's important to have a plan that fits you. Get a plan that's too big. That's not going to fit. And you may pay for insurance you don't need. Hey, Ellis. And a plan that's too small can leave you without adequate protection. At Shelter Insurance, our agents help you design a plan that meets your needs so it's just right for you. Insurance that fits just right so you can kick back and relax. Find an agent at shelterinsurance.com to get started. You're invited to celebrate Bridal Cave's 75th anniversary. Known as one of America's most scenic caves and top wedding destination, they'll commemorate this must-see landmark October 14th through 16th with originally priced tickets, diamond earring treasure hunt, the win a romance to remember package, and as always, an unforgettable experience led by friendly tour guides, as they have done for generations. Celebrate 75 years of beauty and adventure with Bridal Cave, found right on the lake in Camdenton. Look, you're 16 now, and, well, there are certain facts. Dad. Darn it, Kevin. You got to be careful when you buy tires. Dobbs Drive Away Tire Package gives you everything you need with no unexpected surprises. Oh. I didn't want you to have to learn it on the street. It's Dobbs. Buy three, get one free tire event. Buy three, select Cooper or Goodyear tires, get the fourth free. Click on GoToDobbs.com and save today. Now's the time to get a great deal on taking care of your property. You need tractors rated number one in durability and owner experience so you can do it all and do it right. Z-Series mowers that deliver a quality cut and Sidekick utility vehicles where durability meets speed. Right now, bring home select Kubota equipment for zero down, 0% 0 APR for 72 months, plus save up to $800. See Farm Power Lawn and Leisure for details. You bring joy. You give smiles. You create memories. You are someone's favorite person, and your health matters. Four out of ten adults will develop cancer in their lifetime, but screening tests can catch cancer early and help save lives. For the lives you touch, to learn which cancer screenings are right for you and to schedule an appointment, visit GetScreenedNow.com or call 314-208-2737. Are you ready to open the door to the next chapter in your life? Come and take a tour at the place where people love to live, the Terrace. Our spacious apartments provide the perfect environment to transition into relaxed living, all the while staying vibrant and active. And did we mention the food? Our chefs create delectable dishes to share around a table of your best new friends. Make the next chapter of your life a rewarding one. Call today to hear about our new specials. For more information, visit TerraceRetirement.com. Feels good to be home. 
plan ahead and get your home ready for the holidays at Ashley. For a limited time, buy one, get one half off store-wide. Bring home this sofa and its matching love seat is half off. Shop now, spend less, and get more. Only at Ashley. Job to those Elton cheerleaders. Now, if you like offense, this next matchup is for you. It's no secret that Blair Oaks has one of the most prolific offenses in mid Missouri, but their opponent also knows how to find the end zone. The Elden Mustangs and the Falcons are averaging a combined, get this, 93 points per game. We're talking high school football, folks. Should be plenty of fireworks, right? Going into Wardsville tonight. Tyler Bax looking to improve on his impressive sophomore campaign. First play of the game, Bax calls his own number and scrambles all the way down to the Eldon 22. Coming right at our camera, he says hello. Nice job to our photographer, staying on his feet there. Next play, Bax to Hayden Lackman for a touchdown. Blair Oaks out of the gates quickly, up 7-0 on the Stangs. After forcing a punt, Lackman Gonna get into the end zone again. One time wasn't enough. This time on the ground though, 14 nothing in favor of the Falcons. Rolling out in Wardsville tonight in the second quarter. Bax having himself a night and the fans are loving to see it. He's gonna sling out his trusty receiver, Nick Klosser, who's gonna do the rest of the work himself. Look at him go, coming down the sideline right at us and into the end zone. Blair Oaks leads 27 nothing and right before half, you gotta add some more. The fans are loving it. Elijah Luckett wants it on the action. He takes a handoff, 60 yards all the way to the crib. Going back to his place, Falcons extend the win streak to five games, 55 nothing on top of Eldon tonight. Scoreboard now, South Shelby hands, hangs a 40 piece on Macon tonight, 42 nothing. Russellville falls short against Polo, 29-16. South Callaway shuts out Cuba, 41 nothing. North Callaway falls to Wright City tonight, 45-28. Montgomery County takes down Louisiana, 47-22. West Rand defeats Harrisburg, 41-36. And Salisbury gets a road win over Fayette, 30-8. Blair Oaks and Eldon wasn't the only Tri-County Conference clash tonight. Southern Boone and Hallsville met out in Ashland. Both teams with a lot of momentum here. The Eagles have won five straight games, and Hallsville has won three out of its last four contests. It's homecoming week for Southern Boone. Gorgeous night, fall night for football. Lots of burgers getting flipped. That's making me hungry. The stomach's down a little bit, guys. The Eagles have not lost since their first game, looking to keep it going. First quarter, A.J. Evans. Rolling out, sends it to Chase Morris. He had two guys on him, but slips the tackle, and he's going to go in for a touchdown. First of the night, Eagles lead. Nicely done out of the gates. Hallsville going to respond, though. We know their offense can do it. Zach Jorette going to get this pass on the outside, and he's got room. Look at him go down the sideline, going to take it all the way to the barn. Big response from the Indians. That's exactly what head coach Justin Conyers wanted to see. Eagles couldn't slow him down. Here he goes again. This time an effortless catch over the middle and steps right in for six. Hallsville offense clicking, folks. Nicely done. Eagles getting it done offensively, too. Chase Morris gets this one in stride. He gets drugged down. But massive gain there. Nicely done, sir. Five minutes to go till half. Eagles looking for something here. Dropping back, get it to Weston Jennings. This man staying on his feet, gonna pass it up to Weston Jennings. And my gosh, an absolute dime there from Evan Southern Boone. Goes on to win its sixth straight game, guys. 54-24, the final tonight in Ashland. Scoreboard now, Marceline wins big over Scotland County, 43-21. Paris loses a high-scoring affair with Bramer, 52-44. Versailles shuts out Lone Jack, 43-0. Monroe City defeats Brookfield, 42-26. Van Farr gets past Crystal City, 14-8. Close game, but Herman just edges out St. Clair, 22-21. That's a barn burner, and Sullivan edges out St. James, 25-15.